Last stop for the Italian trip this time. We are in a modified shop, in a big shop, and we're going to see a lot of interesting things now. Here we have, what is your name? Uh, Denis Salani. Faccio parte del DD Star Team, diciamo che sono uno dei soci fondatori. Siamo partiti nel 2005, lontano 2005, con un'idea stranissima e oggi siamo qua che siamo arrivati con, con questa idea di questo progetto di trattore. Ok, qui il trattore è completamente a parte e questo è spiegato da una radio engine. Quindi, so, torniamo a questo più tardi. Dici un po' about the chassis, what we are into this, and so on, how this all works. Allora, questo qua è un telaio autocostruito tutto in tubo, ce lo siamo costruiti noi in casa, tutto in cromo molideno. Il differenziale è un differenziale sempre autocostruito, completo di riduttori in alluminio che si possono trovare vedere da sopra. È tutta roba che ci siamo sempre costruiti noi, noi in casa. E, questo qua monta un motore stellare, questo qua, 18 cilindri, 54.900 di cilindrata, 3.700 cavalli originali, alimentato da benzina e in parte metanolo. So this is an 18 cylinder radial engine, Curtis Wright 3350, with original 3500 horsepower which is in this version here with the carburetor and we have in here is a supercharger we can have a look at the inside of, the, of another engine over there a set of full of 2000 tires on Russell aluminum race yep and then we here have another chassis in the works for Probably super stock or pro stock, what is it going to be? Superstock. Component, something. Light. Limited. limited. For a limited super stock project. For a limited project. super stock project. Okay, nice. So, things are moving on here. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. So, very light rear end. What is this original? Is it Deutz or Rockwell or? A Rockwell, we are on. This is a Rockwell. Right. We don't make the planetary. So, these are based off what? Caterpillar? Or the, yeah. Uh, uh, the original Caterpillar, the Pala. The Pala Anoma, the engranages are from a Pala Anoma. Uh, the ZF. Probably in origin come from a ZF planetary. Okay. From a Hanomag. Uh, so, the same uh, as yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So AP and the uh, reverser. That's yeah. That's reverse the drive line. There's a little plumb gear in there. This is the bell housing for the clutch. Yeah. So I like that rear end. Yeah. This is very light, and because it's round, doesn't hold too much oil. Yeah. And this tractor runs in the uh, light modified class, which is twenty five hundred. Kilos or 5500 pounds. Yeah. We can see the motor is mounted in phase of revision and montage. So here we are in the engine room. Qua abbiamo l'albero motore, la parte centrale. The uh, crankshaft, which la parte, is split. La parte esterna che mantengono i cilindri. Yeah, so this is the middle piece of the block. So this is where the crankshaft goes in. And then and then this would be the, cam, the not the cam shaft but the cam ring, which then turns opens the valves. La parte opposta della funderia. So this is top piece and bottom piece. And then okay. you can actually see roller. the roller lifters for the valves. Everything is going in circles in this engine. 
So then this the part is della, della spirazione, della spirazione. the intake uh, manifold. That's the intake manifold with probably the supercharger. Yeah, yeah supercharger in there. So air goes in. A fuel mixture comes in here with a centrifugal supercharger blown out through here into then the cylinders which sitting on here being fed from there. So okay. then this is the connecting rod of the first row of the engine. So we have one main rod and side rods. So you'd better tell that in Italian too. No. Explain the rod in Italian please. Uh. Allora, praticamente questa qui è la biella madre di questo motore e attaccato a questa biella madre ci sono le altre otto bielle piccole. Nel, nella rotazione del motore praticamente ehm, avviene l'esplosione diciamo, dei nove cilindri in, in, ehm, in, sequenza. in sequenza sfasate tra una stella e l'altra stella perché le stelle sono doppie. Quindi avremo una, un imbiellaggio e l'altro imbiellaggio che è questo. Mm -hmm. This is the second rod, the second row. And this is also a crankshaft, which is in several pieces with the counterweights in here. Yeah. And you have here the uh, ignition. Magnetos, yeah. Original ignitions, yeah. Which then have the distributors sitting there. Yeah, and then this is the rest of the block where the prop drive is coming out. Mm, nice. So, and why is everything apart at the moment? They had a very good pull at the last event. Did they break something or is it just winter check? Allora, no, è il motore che utilizziamo per gareggiare è quello che abbiamo visto là completo. Questo è un motore che stiamo ultimando per avere un motore di scorta. L'engine che usate per la last race mm -hmm. is uh, outer. This is another engine preparato for a, a spare engine. Yeah, for a spare engine for the next season. Ok, nice. Are they doing this all on their own or do they have any help? State facendo tutto in casa o avete qualche aiuto? No, certamente facciamo tutto noi in casa. Always uh, homemade. Nice. Most other teams I know they always have some specialists coming and then Anche molti team che hanno delle parti speciali che vengono da altri mezzi. Yeah, there's an old aircraft mechanic in Holland who has made his apprenticeship on these engines. He still knows everything about them. Ah, okay in the past we have uh, helped from uh, Pit uh, the yeah. <laughs> when I have a big problem to not find the solution I call, uh, <laughs> call Pit for yeah. helping good that he's around and can help us all yeah nice so yeah I will insert some video of the tractor running so yeah, this is the pistons, uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea, this is uh, my hand, <laughs> yeah, and then this is a broken cylinder, yeah, and we have a five disc clutch, put some weights on it, yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. More pistons, intakes. Yeah, this is a big, big puzzle. Yeah. One, one curiosity. Was uh, cut okay, to yeah. check it the correct um, phase during the montage of engine. Okay. Yeah. Tiny little wells. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Parts, parts, parts. Yeah, cool. So, how long does it take to rebuild an engine like this? How long does it take to rebuild an engine like this? 
sembrava un motore di utilizzo della macchina ma lo facciamo sempre a tempo perso quando utilizziamo uno la, cioè okay. nella nata facciamo we l'altro we build a uh, engine during the free time uh, after uh, during the year not uh, I don't know I need one month two months <laughs> but uh, <Yeah>. one year <laughs> one year <laughs> yes <laughs> one year with the one engine and the one year with another engine yeah so in rotation yeah yeah in rotation okay all in rotation Yes, how many engines does he have? These two or does he have four? One? Four, okay. So the other ones are also ready or still in? The other two engines are still in the The other two engines for our spark part. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> when did they start <laughs> with tractor pulling? In the two twenty zero five. Okay, and then directly with this engine, or did yeah. they have something? So just from went, the went right from the big. Yeah. Where did they get them from? Da dove derivano? Da dove li avete presi? Li abbiamo trovati qua in Italia. We have found this engine in Italy. Okay, so from the old Italia, yeah. yeah, Italia, probably. Yeah. Abbiamo una partita che ce n'era una quindicina che non ci siamo arrivati a prenderne solamente quattro. E dopo gli altri abbiamo dormito e abbiamo dovuto prendere l'ero di Luca. Ah, ok. Abbiamo trovato 15 di questi engine in Italia, ma è possibile comprare solo 4 engine e gli altri engine è possibile comprare l'ero di Luca. Il Luxembourg, ok. Sì, yeah. yeah. ancora probabilmente ha loro. Sono in contatto con Sir Jacobi? O? Siete in contatto con il Sergio di Rodalio o no? Ogni tanto, però sono... Ogni tanto. Sì. Yeah, so this is a little bit about the engine. Yeah. Amazing. I go in. So, an old three axis mill. The only way. for the hook on the pulling, not for the job. Yeah, this is. Yeah, but. You can do a lot of things with it, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. you know, better to have one than don't have one. The first deal, that was still 7,000 pounds, yeah. 2,000. Yeah. 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 A lot of work. And that chassis is going to become a Fiat, he said. And what engine is he going to put in? Because the yeah, limit in the uh, limited superstock, I think, is seven point something. 18, 77, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Uh, come from a uh, harvest. Yeah, but they have to be 7.8 liters or 7.6. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and the, and the yeah. And then the one run two tractors, or is that one for somebody else? Prossimo anno. Yeah. Not for the 2023, no. only with Joker. Yeah. But in the future, probably with the tractor. Because they do not have enough work with the radial, they now need another tractor. No, another project. <laughs> you didn't understand. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I said, because they do not have enough work already. Ah, okay, okay. They need to make a second tractor. I <laughs> understand. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, I mean, this is as good as it gets. Yep, and the reason why this has to become a Fiat is when we came here, outside there was a lot of old Fiat tractors, and this is what they do with them. They restore Fiats. This is a super nice job here. Looks better than it came from the factory. Yeah, great. As you can tell, they mean business. <laughs> Ripped open another door. And <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. 
1300, yeah. 1300 Mercedes. Big Fiat with a minor three cannons. And more big Fiats. Jesus. 160, 90. Yep. Like a little museum here. Yeah. Tiny one. ETR. Oh my god. Made by Versatile. Yeah. Yeah, they have big farms in this area. They need big tractors. Yeah, we're in Italy. They're starting the food now. I think we're finished with the video for now. Yeah. Thanks for showing us around. And uh, yeah, see you on the track soon. That's it. Okay, ciao. <laughs> ciao.